Father God, thank you so much for Christmas Day. Thank you that we can stop and remember that your life on earth started and it was culminated with you going back to heaven from where you came. We want to thank you that you came in with full force, with full purpose, with clear agenda. And there was no life other than yours that was so beautifully scripted. And then we can then endeavor to live that life with the power that enabled you as Ephesians teaches us. Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful morning. There are some here who don't know you personally. There are some who have heard about you. There are some who just, they've come along with friends. They've come along with family. But I pray that nobody would be uncomfortable. There will be such a spirit of love and acceptance and affirmation. There will be such a joy in the family spirit here this morning that everybody would leave here knowing that they've been with family. They didn't just attend a service. So this is my one and only prayer to you this morning that people would know that they have just come home. They've come back home. They've come back to the Savior, to the Father, to the family. Lord God, let this be true in our experience and in our word. As we begin this service, we invite you, Lord God, to lead our thoughts, our emotions, our sentiments, and just border this place so that the wicked one has no influence as we worship you and we give you praise. In Jesus' name I ask. Amen. Come, let's worship him. Pastor Shanu will take us through some songs in Hindi. Good morning, everyone. Merry Christmas to all. Yeah. We are so excited this morning. God has given us this beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, this is the time we celebrate Christmas. This is the time we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, we are going to sing a few Hindi carols. And uh, please join us together. शहर में आ पैदा हुआ जकनू मसी खुदा बंदा दुनिया कनू दाव के शहर में आ पैदा हुआ जकनू
में आज पैदा हुआ जग का नूर वो हमारा खुदावन वो हमारा खुदा आई थी वो जिंदगी देने को जिंदगी जिसने भी करी है उसके दिल से बंदगी ए जमीन और आसमां सिजदा करो उसे वो नजात दहिंदा है दिल दे दो तुम उसे फरिश्तों ने जमी के लोगों को उधर आया जहां में आज बुला इंसान बन के है दिया फरिश्तों ने जमी के लोगों को उधर आया जहां में आज बुला इंसान बन के दिया वो आया है दास्ता बन के आया है उतर आया जमीन पर वो हमारा खुदाया खुदा है लसिंग दिस वन मोर आया मसीहा आया मसीहा आओ सिजा करें उसके झुक के उसके कदमों पर आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू सिंग प्लीज सिंग लिरिक्स इज विद यू एंड ट्राई टू सिंग विद दिस ओके इट्स अ वेरी लाइवली सॉन्ग यू रेडी रेडी ओके लेट्स डू इट आया मसीहा आया मसीहा आया मसीहा आया मसीहा आओ सिस्ता करे चुके उसके चरणों में गाए हो संगा आओ सिस्ता करे चुके उसके चरणों में गाए हो आया मसीहा आया मसीहा सिंह के दर आया मसीहा आया मसीहा आओ सिस्ता करे 
It's a new song. I'll just sing the first four lines on the keyboard and then we'll all come in. Oh, wow, Jume, Kum, Nachega, Asma, Sesamita, Hosanna, Hosanna, Gai. Easy? Easy. Okay, let's do it together. Stand up. Actions are very easy, okay? You want to warm up a bit? You want to warm up a bit? It's very easy. You need to move your feet. We go one to the right, one to the left. Easy? Easy? But you have to move your feet. One to the right and one to the left. Okay, perfect. Oh, wow, to me. Asma se samita, ho se na ho se na gai. Oh, wow, to me, to me, na chega. Asma se samita, ho se na ho se na gai. Now we'll we'll put it another step. So when we go to the right, when we come to the left, when we say ho se na. One hand comes from this side and goes all the way back. Okay? Hosanna, Hosanna, guy. Got it? Easy? Easy? Okay. Hosanna, Hosanna, guy. One more time. Hosanna, Hosanna, guy. Last time, I promise. Hosanna, Hosanna, guy. Okay, give it up for yourself. Wonderful. 
Okay, you can take your seats. Thank you so much. Are you feeling the spirit of Christmas? Are you as happy as Akash? <laughs> Not quite, but we're getting there, okay? <laughs> God bless you, brother. Okay.
जन्म बाहे मसी आज बेतले from the cl youth group high school ministry this is our first performance uh, we are we are prepared with a skit and a song hope you all like it gabriel go get the water please hi everyone um welcome to my family this is a uh, this is my dad i call him mr too much information guy because he shares too much hey dad what's the plan for christmas let me explain i get up at 6 brush my teeth cook some eggs and then i'll um... yeah so moving on this is my annoying brother aaron he asks like way too many questions he'll start with one and he'll move on to ask you like 6 million more do you know who's playing instruments what should i wear what are you wearing see what i mean hey no phones on the table Yes ma'am. Yeah. Yes. So and and that's my mom. This busy woman is yeah. my mother. I like to call her captain because she's uh, always giving me orders. Gabriel go get the trash out. Yeah, one second. So like I was saying <coughs> Okay. Yeah. Sorry captain. I mean mother. So this this is my uh, my favorite part about family dinners. You might think our family is a bit weird and we are but that's not why this is my favorite part and I'm talking about this taking the trash out part. It's because you know breaking away for just a moment it helps me realize that how much God has hashtag #blessed me with and you know it helps me realize that God often uses like messy and kind of strange people to help you realize that. I'll give you an example. My mother even though she is almost always busy she always puts food on the table and she gives me a lot of responsibilities to help me learn to manage myself and become a responsible adult my brother even though he is very annoying he helps me feel better about myself you know when i come back home and when i don't have anyone to talk to and i'm feeling low he makes me feel like i'm important like i matter and then my father um even though he shares too much he guides me and he's he's always there whenever i'm feeling helpless and so yeah when we're all packed together eating dinner or when we're all together in the house i you tend to forget the good stuff so that's why breaking away for just a moment taking the trash out that's why it's my favorite part because it gives me a chance to realize that god really loves us you know and he's given us so many blessings so many blessings we don't even realize and it doesn't take long you know just a moment or two to thank him so let's all be thankful today for the blessings we see for the blessings we don't see for everything that god gives us and uh that's my uncle jason i think thank you thank you away in the me Just let down his sweet head the stars in the sky I look down where he lay the little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay the cattle are lowing Jesus looked down from the sky and stay by my cradle till morning is nigh. It's Christmas, the angels are singing, and I know the
Good morning everyone. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. As the lyrics in this song that I'm going to sing suggest, um, my prayer this Christmas uh, for each one of us is that Christ would be born in our hearts and that he would renew us inside out. I hope you enjoy the song. Everything inside me cries for order Everything inside me wants to hide Is the shadow of an angel or a warrior? If God is pleased with me, why am I so terrified? Someone tell me I am only dreaming Somehow help me see with heaven's eyes And before my head agrees My heart is on its knees Holy is He Blessed am I Be born heart somehow I believe that you chose me I'll hold you in the beginning you will hold me in the end every moment in the middle make my heart your Bethlehem be born in me This time we waited for the promise All this time you waited for my arms Did you wrap yourself inside the unexpected So we might know that love would go that far Be Every moment in the middle Make my heart your Bethlehem 
be born in me. I am not brave. I'll never be the only thing my heart can offer is a vacancy. I'm just a girl, nothing more. But I am willing, I am yours. Oh, 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 oh. Be born in me. Be born. beginning you will hold me in the end every moment in the middle make my heart your Bethlehem be born in me Merry Christmas to you all again Christmas or no Christmas, celebration or no celebration, there's always issues and problems in our, in our marriages, in our families, there's health issues. Last night, one of the families had to rush their father over to the, uh, he's in ICU right now with health issues, and there are several other concerns, and I want to pray for us. I want to pray for us on Christmas Day. I want to pray for healing, I want to pray for restoration of relationships. Some of you are here and just downright angry, you're ticked off, and there's just someone who's just done something or said something, and you can't feel that peace or joy or whatever they're talking about if you, if you, if you don't let God uh, deal with that. And God's the greatest counselor. He's the best counselor ever. Some of you have been carrying some just burdens and some uh, you know, prejudices for a very long time, and we want to let go of that as well. And before I get into God's Word, I just want us to just let the Spirit of God do that in our hearts. Are you with me? Don't let your heart fight it. Don't let your mind fight it. And if it's you, then let God do it. If it's someone in your life and you can think of you praying with me for them, let's pray for them with, uh, together. Father in heaven, I want to thank you so much that you are a God who knows exactly what we're going through. Whether we know you or not, whether we're religious or not, whether we're spiritual or not, you know exactly what's going through our hearts. You know the fears that we have, the concerns that we have, mothers for children, fathers for children, Husbands and wives for each other, family, relatives, money, finances, future, admissions, visas, all kind of little, little things that weigh heavy on our heart. In the name of Jesus, I ask that today, here in the presence of God, you would grant peace in place of worry. Right now, if there's anybody sick in this place, anybody who's carrying an illness, a chronic illness, in the name of Jesus... Because you are capable and willing, I ask for healing in this place. I ask that their hearts would be willing to obey, hearts would be willing to believe, and that they would respond to you saying, I receive the healing. They would be willing to voice to you right now what exactly they have been struggling in for a long time. And I pray, O oh God, that today they would receive that healing, the 25th of December 2017, so that they mark it, that I didn't just, just didn't go to the service of, uh, of, of worship. It's not just I attended a Christmas service, but I came into the presence of God, and He healed me, and He restored me, and He gave back to me the years that were first. Some of us feel like our years were wasted. We feel like there's a whole lot of our past that was wasted because of a certain relative or a loved one who, uh, who, who spoke ill of us or destroyed our reputation, or wasted our years. And some of us feel like we're wasted. Some of us are carrying words that are too heavy to bear because of what we feel people have said about us. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that they would experience that release, that freedom that comes from having God lift our burdens. Because the reason Jesus came is to be Emmanuel, God with us. He is the Prince of Peace. He is the wonderful counselor. So we, we need to be beneficiaries of these things that Jesus is. So I pray in Jesus' name, along with those who believe, with, believe me and believe with me right now, for healing, 
for protection, for emancipation, for freedom, for bondage breaking, for anything that needs to be done right now. If there's an addiction here, if there's an addiction to pornography or an addiction to uh, sexual activity or any kind of a behavioral pattern, Lord God, that has them so defeated in the name of Jesus, set them free. Give them the strength to say no and get out of it. Thank you, Father God, that this prayer will not go unanswered. Thank you, Father God, that your faith is always met with mighty works from God. Thank you, Lord God, for this beautiful occasion to be in your presence, to hear your word, and to receive from you the peace and the joy that Jesus brings. In whose name I pray, amen. God wants to speak to you this morning in a very special way, but before, he, before I go into that, I want to thank those who got together and put all of this. Everybody who has a volunteer, Pastor Shanu is back there with the team, Akash and uh, Virodha back there. Anybody who was help, involved in helping, would you please stand? Would you please stand up? Apart from those who are already standing up. Even if you're wearing a tag, stand up. Yeah, everybody who helped put this morning together, please stand up. Very reluctant, very servant spirit these people are. Would you give them a hand? What a, what a job. What an incredible effort. Thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Thank you. Please have a seat. Because it's a small congregation that meets here every Sunday at 9 o'clock in the morning. Crack of dawn, while we're still peeling our covers off, these guys are already worshipping. Every Sunday morning, they're meeting here and they're worshipping. And it's a small congregation and they've put, pulled together such a beautiful uh, service and, a, and, a, and we've got lots of good stuff coming up for us a little later on. So I, I'm, I'm really grateful for that. Thanks, Akash. May the Lord bless you. All four pages you had to hold down. Let me just hold it in my hand. That, that makes it easier. Everybody's okay? You relaxed? Because during the music, I could feel that you were just chilled out. We're not, I mean, the energy may be low, we're just chilled out. Yeah, it's one of the chillest services we've ever been to. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. <coughs> so Christmas is about the story of Jesus, the birth of Jesus Christ. And, <coughs> and I want to, it all begins with angels showing up and announcing the Lord Jesus' birth. Angels. You know who announced my birth? Nurses. It's a boy. Hang on, let me check. Yes, it's a boy. Probably a Mallu nurse. Probably. Let's just be fair. It's probably a Mallu. So Mallu nurse announced my, and all my siblings. But Jesus' birth was announced by angels. And angels called on two groups of people. And this is what I want you to note. Two specific groups of people. The wise men from the east... Some people were saying this morning on Instagram, it's easier to believe in the virgin birth than three wise men in one place. That aside, we can debate that later. But wise men from the east are basically nobility. They were the ones who had access to kings because they had just gone ahead and said, where is he who is born? King. We want to come and worship him. We have seen the star. Yeah, you know the story. So these are people who have access to kings, they have access to royalty, they are nobility. And the other group of people were shepherds, were shepherds. And oftentimes in my, in my Sunday school, in my learning, they told us that God goes to the highest people and God goes to the lowest people, the shepherd were the lowest of all. Nah, 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 nah. He called on two people, two sets of people to verify Jesus. Are you hearing me? He called on two sets of people to verify Jesus. He called on the east, the, 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 from the east, the wise men, come verify that he is the king, that he is born, that that is his star. And he called on the shepherds to verify Jesus. And the reason he did that was Jesus was going to play two roles. He was going to play two roles. He was going to be king. He was born king. Where is he who has been born who was born king? Everyone's born a prince and then you become a king. But this one was born king because nobody can take his throne from him. And he was born king. Where is he who is born king? His role was to rule. Look at this beautiful verse in, in uh, Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. You probably know this. For, for to us a child is born, a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulders. His name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And of the increase of his government and of his peace, there will be no end. Government, government twice. Rule, reign twice. Are you with me? So we have him with a role to be king. 
So the first one was he was born king. Hence the wise men. Hence the star. Are you with me so far? But now let's get to the real people we want to talk about, which is the shepherds. The shepherds were the second lot of people that the angels called on to verify this baby Jesus. And the sign that was given to the shepherds was swaddling clothes. Cloths. Swaddling cloths. I know that's bad English, but hear me out. Swaddling clothes cloths. You will see a baby lying in a manger. That's not new. You will see a baby in a stable. Mm, Okay. But he will be wrapped in swaddling cloths. And that was going to be a sign to the shepherds. Have you ever stopped to think about why that would be a sign and why to shepherds? What is the connection? There's an interesting uh, theory here. That these shepherds were not ordinary shepherds. They were Levitical shepherds. They were Levites from the tribe of Levi. And their job was to rear sacrificial lambs. Their job was to rear sheep, which lambs would be used for sacrifice. And those lambs that were born, specifically bred for sacrifices, had to be perfect, without blemish and without spot. Otherwise, they could not be given as a kurban. They could not be given as a sacrifice. They could not be offered. Are you with me? Are you with me? So these lambs, from the very beginning, had to be taken care of with utmost care, almost bubble wrapped. And this cloth that was used, this very soft strips of cloth that was used to properly tie up is called swaddling cloths. And the reason swaddling cloths was used was because soft and it was like, it was not for for, for burial and embalming, it was for very soft creatures. And they would use that and they would tie it and they would associate that with the sacrificial lamb. This will be a sign to you. That you will find a baby in a manger wrapped in swaddling clothes. Lying in a manger. What's so significant about this to the shepherds? Everybody's going, everybody's walking towards this. They're all like, the angel said, let's go, let's go. The angel said, swaddling clothes, swaddling clothes. What's going on over here? No wonder the Bible says verse, uh, in verse chapter 12, chapter 2 of Matthew, a little later on in verse 17, he says they marveled at this. They marveled. Marveled at what? Marveled at angels? It didn't say they marveled at angels. I'd marvel at angels. I mean, if an angel showed up and said anything to me, I'd marvel. I mean, they got over that real quick. They didn't have a problem with the stable. They didn't have a problem with Joseph, Mary. They, didn't have, they had come all the way for their Aadhaar card, straight to, straight, straight to Nazareth. And that's how prophecy got fulfilled. They didn't marvel at all of these. These things, these things, these things. I'll tell you more about this. They marveled at. They marveled. So they're all walking towards this, this, this beautiful nativity scene. As the angels said, one of the little boys tugged their father and said, Dad, Dad, swaddling cloths. I mean, isn't that what we normally put sacrificial lambs in? He says, yes, son. But it's a baby. Yes, son. This is not just any baby. This is the Lamb of God. This is the Lamb of God that has been given for the, for the removal of all sin. This is the ultimate Lamb. Our job will stop. We won't need to come up with sacrificial lambs anymore because the ultimate sacrifice is here. Yes, son. When this Lamb has been sacrificed, we will not need any more sacrifices. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the whole world. This is the real thing. They came to authenticate this baby as that Lamb of God. Two groups of people came. The angels called them. Verify. You see the star? That's the king. And they worshipped him. Verification done. The angels came. Swaddling cloth? Well, what do we have in swaddling cloths? Sacrificial lamb. Verified. Are you with me? They didn't just show up because they were passing by. God had a role for the shepherds and a role for the wise men because God had a role for Jesus. He is born king and he is born to be savior. He is born to be savior. That's why, you know, as I was looking at this passage of scripture, a little further down in chapter 2 of Matthew, it says, And when they had seen him, they came to him and they saw him. When they had seen him, they made widely known the saying 
which was told to them concerning this child. What saying? Did you think about that? What, say, what was told to this, about this child? He would be wrapped in swaddling clothes. I mean, if that was normal for every baby, then it's not a sign. Verse 18, And all those who heard it marveled at these things which were told to them by the shepherds. What things were told to them by the shepherds? Well, the shepherds were told that this child will be born in swaddling, uh, will be wrapped in swaddling cloths. The shepherds went out and told everybody widely. They told everyone widely what they had heard about these things. And verse 19, And Mary kept all these things in her heart. That this child she was holding was the great I am. One John chapter four verse ten says, "This is love. This is love. Not that we loved God. That's religion. But that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sin. He sent His Son as a lamb for slaughter, as a lamb for sacrifice. Why swaddling clothes, Lord? Because." That's what you wrap a sacrificial lamb in. Is that the sign? That's, that's the sign. That's how you'll know that this is the Savior of the world. This is the Lamb of God who will take away the sins of the world. How will we know that He is the King born for our rule? Well, the star will tell you. So that's that sign. And the cloths are that sign. What about you and me? What's our sign? What's the sign to us to identify Jesus as the one whom God has sent for us? How do you know that Jesus is the one that God sent for you? How, what is Jesus wrapped in that identifies him as your savior? Can I tell you my story? Because this brings us to the cross, because the cross is what I know. I don't know the manger, I wasn't there. I don't know the resurrection, I wasn't there. But I know the cross, and the cross stands right in the center of time. And even today, the cross means the same thing. It is the picture of that sacrifice. And as I go to the cross, I see Jesus hanging on the cross. Me, my name is Jeremy Dawson. And I look at Jesus hanging on the cross, and I say, and I hear that this is the Savior of the whole world. Some of you are hearing it for the first time. This is the Savior of the whole world. I'm like, TK, very good, that's wonderful. It's lovely. Everybody should sacrifice for the world, that's great. And as I look closer, I hear the words of scripture. And as I gaze upon this Jesus hanging on the cross, something very familiar I could see. And as I look closer, he says, He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon, and by his stripes we are healed. The Bible says he became sin for us. That he was put on the cross and all my sin was put on him. And as I look at him, I look closely. I don't recognize this Jesus because I've never seen him before. And I may never see him again. I don't know who this is. But as I look at him, what's wrapped around him, I do recognize. And that's my sin. That's my sin. My rebellion. How I, amazing I think I am. My pride. My self-centeredness. My sexual wanderings and my fantasies. My indulgences, my irresponsible behavior, my purposeless living, the way I go on in life like as if I own this life and this life is mine. I can do what I like with it. I can worship who I want with it and I can do who, whatever I want with it. All of that sin I see on him and that is my sin. And if that's my sin, he's wrapped in my sin, then he must be my savior. How do you know he's your savior? How do you know he's your sacrificial lamb? What's he wrapped in? As I look at Jesus, he's wrapped in my sin. And if he's wrapped in my sin, he's wrapped in my sin. He's my savior. Mary, did you know that this baby boy was Lord of all creation? As Christina brings this song to you, prepare for a time of worship, and I'll come back 
And let's finish the service with a great time of worship in response to what we have just heard God say to our hearts. And if you have not given your life back to the one who gave you life, you're not listening to me. If you have not given your life back to the one who gave you life, if you have not signed a deed, signed a a contract with the one who gives you the breath you breathe, if you have not come in line with the purposes for which you were created, and you're going to try and find your own definitions for life, trying to find your own ways in life, then you need to start out by getting back to God and say, as I look at the cross, do I see my sin there? It takes great humility to see your own sin. Great humility. And as I see my own sin, do I recognize that that is the wrapping with which God wants me to recognize that He is my Savior. And you make a decision today to make Jesus your Savior. He is Savior of the world. He is King. To make Him yours. And when you make that decision, your life will turn around and you'll never be the same again. Listen to Christina as she brings a song to you and let's get back to some worship. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Let's worship Him. Thank you for the price you paid. Did you find it? Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid. Bearing all my sin and shame. Sing it out loud. Thank you for the new hands. Wash me in your cleansing flow. Now all I know, your forgiveness and embrace. Worthy is the Lamb. Seated on the throne. Crown him now with
worship service. We're going to get up on our feet and if you need to move your hands, you move your hands. If you need to move your legs, move your legs and do what you have to do. Okay, let's do that again. Let's hear every voice singing. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Beautiful. Sing it loud. Thank you. For the thank, you. thank you. I will thank you, Lord. see some red bags the red bag is not for you it's to put offering and if they come to you give the Lord your your tithes and offerings God rest in every gentle Bethlehem, the blessed angel born, and laid 
esteemed merry gentleman for the all-time favorite. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. This is when you go nuts. This is where in every language all around the world we go nuts. Let's do this. Somebody's getting a call. And it's not an angel, I can tell you that. <laughs> Angels, we have Normal service, one service, 11 o'clock at Transworld Radio, 11 o'clock at Transworld Radio, nothing over here, only over there. It's going to be a Thanksgiving service, a lot of music, and uh, with times of sharing, I'll be leading through that, and it's going to be on 31st Sunday morning. Nothing in the evening, nothing the next day, and then we'll see you on, uh, uh, in 2000, what is it? 80. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father God, for a beautiful time in your presence. Thank you for those who joined us for the first time. I really pray that they would take something home with them, something to think about, something to feel about that relates to you, Lord God. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest, rest and abide with each and every one of us through this week and even forevermore. Amen.